Hello everybody, good day and welcome to our entertainment and celebrity juice on D Fair TV. Were you looking for me? Here I am. So my name is Ereti. I know you guys have missed me. I know I've missed you too. Like <laughs> how is it going? So for this episode, we have the loaded juice. Like you cannot expect. It is packed. 100% and I give you every time like this is premium premium and premium before going back on this short break I want you guys to like share comment and subscribe <laughs> to this channel post on all our social media platforms that's LinkedIn Instagram YouTube Facebook what other one have I not mentioned here yeah, and there so when we come back on this short break I'll be giving you this as this hot right here on Tiffany TV don't go anywhere <laughs> Welcome back. So straight down to our juice. First on the list, we have Lady Bakari. Now, this popular yoga actress received backlash for claiming that her 13 year old daughter gifted her son a car. I mean, a Benz. Like a Benzo. 13, wait, let, let me come again. A 13 year old gifted her son a Benz. You guys. So this comes after she bought two cars and unveiled her 100 million naira mansion in Lekki. So everybody has been asking, how is this girl able to afford? To buy a band. Like, it's not bad for you to get a gift for your brother, I understand that, but she's 13 years old and it just made so many speculations and many thoughts and all of that. But the woman didn't even give two cents. She just went on ahead to put her daughter for her generosity and all of that. Me, I personally feel it's a PR song because according to her, she wants to um, market a book that she claims to teach you how to earn billions in six months. Be like billions of naira in six months. <laughs> Alright, I'll move it on. So, popular photographer influencer Christopher died from board plastic surgery. You guys, she died as a result of complications from a bus surgery done here in Nigeria. Now, a friend of hers, Miss Portia, confirmed her death and shed light on the issue. And she said, she went on Twitter and she said, I want to bring this to the public. A friend just died at this hospital in Lagos, Nigeria. A few days ago, she went for a surgery. Now, I'm not against anybody that wants to enhance their body or anything as such, but your body is your life and your toy. Now, the most annoying part here is that the girl died days ago without anybody knowing. And the hospital, you don't find it needful to contact any of her relatives until a few days ago when they went to the hospital like check on her and then according to her the hospital gave them a letter that they already deposited the girl's body in the mortuary. Now this is all shades of shade. This is all shades of shade. If they did not have any hand in or if they feel like they were not responsible, why why didn't they just reach out to like you know her relatives and all of that? I don't want to talk about the surgeon and because that's like you know your business but I feel like the hospital should be uh, it should be investigated and it should be shut down and you know proper um, uh, 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 what's one of precautions and you know necessary action should be taken against the hospital if such news is true now going down on third now you have Bob Risky <laughs> yo this guy Bob Risky announces the grand opening of his 450 million mansion everybody is just throwing million up and down this million that where would I receive this money ha my god because like it's not as if Millions and like thousands of naira. Please, you guys, show us the way now. How about we, we used to want to, you know, have mansion. So, Barbara is gearing up for his to host a grand house warming party. Now, he took to Instagram to share the good news and he said he'll be holding a free house party on the 19th of June, while the main party will be held on the 3rd of September. <laughs> wow, what is occurring, you guys? Down to the next gist Johnny Depp won. You guys, so I know we've not really spoken about John Depp and Amber Heard's trial on the show because I feel like we do, I don't want to be too biased and it was based on, it was more of public uh, public opinions that was just going around and on. I didn't want to like talk on the issue. But everybody is happy that he won because we all feel like it is new that Amber Heard was, you know, trying to like, you know, you know, so somehow, somehow, somehow. However, the much of the side loss to which lasted for six weeks, it took six weeks, it ended today. Following a three-day deliberation by a jury consisting of five men and two women, and the final deliberation lasted for 13 hours to show you how big this case was. And the jury came to the agreement that her statements about her husband were false and that she, she acted maliciously towards death. And the actor was awarded $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages. Now what this just means is her is going to be paying debt. 15 million dollars but Depp was also found guilty of um, defaming Amber Heard so he has to pay her two million dollars but all in all well, I'm just happy that you know the case is over and everybody's fine and now I feel like everybody that cancelled Johnny Depp should not have come down because they were so quick to cancel the guy I feel like the society I don't want to say women lie 
but I feel like the society clings more to a victimized woman and they always forget that men too can also be victimized so thumbs up to Johnny Depp so uh, that's all for the G that we have for this week when I come back on this I'll be giving you the movies and the songs that you have to see and listen to this week <laughs> Welcome back guys. Did you like all of my gifts? I know, I think so. I love them too. So for the movies that we have to see this week, we have two movies as usual. I always give you little, little, little movies. Some action, to romance, to horror, to thriller, to everything. So for this um, week, we have Stranger Things. All of you know Stranger Things. It's on Netflix. It's, it's just good there. Um, season 4 is out. It's all about terrifying supernatural forces and this strange little girl, Eleven. <laughs> But the thing about this movie that I don't like is so much of the graphic violence. I feel like uh, even when I'm watching stuff, I usually clean and I hold my pillow because I don't want to like you know miss any ghosts <laughs> in my room. But it is really it's an amazing series. You guys have to see it out, watch it and enjoy the ride. For all the Nigerians, we have Anya. It's also a nice bit, right? This is a musical film that follows the life of a popular Yoruba Apala musician. That is Ayinla Omowura. From his rise to his fame, to his relationships, and then to his untimely death. Now it is majorly in Yoruba, right? But then don't worry, next week for Got you. Because it is a beautiful movie. Just go ahead, watch it, see it, enjoy it, and come back here and tell me what you think about it. For the trending songs, having from number five as usual, you know, I always give it a hat. Number five, we have the Widow Stand song. Now, the song is beautiful and everything and everything, but it's not my, you know, top top, but it's alright. And number four, we have Spin Off featuring Ashaka with Kalanta. Someone said, if you can sing Kalazo music from beginning to the end, do not ever use I for what as an excuse. And I also think that because the lyrics are like, it's like this. Number three, we have Donna Boy with Last Last, of which Steph Don also dropped a diss track. Eh? I can't wait to hear that. And number two, we have Susanna with Buddha. Buddha, Buddha, come and sign me, come and sign me. Number one, we have My Baby, it's My Baby Girl, and the other baby boys that, you know, I just love the girl that. We have Navy Overloading, Overdose, and it is 100% lit. Now, those are the songs that you should see and um, the movies that you should see and the songs that you should vibe to this weekend. Do not forget, every time, always come back to this channel because I'm going to give it to trending gifs, trending songs, and movies that you have to see. So I come away next time, I remain a retailer. Bye.